Hi, one of the things I love the most about YouTubing, which I do for a lark, by the way, um, is meeting some incredibly lovely people. Yes, there are a few trolls, but you know, they're vastly outnumbered by the lovely people that I've met. Um, and uh, one person that I've you met is a Maria, a dentist from Poland, with whom I share not just a love of beauty products and K beauty and J beauty, but also a love of Anne of Green Gables and Lord of the Rings. Uh, that's uh, you know, uh, and Kawaii. So you know, you end up having some very interesting conversations, particularly when you are uh, you know in lockdown or self isolating, particularly during a pandemic when human interaction is at an all time low. It, it's amazing, you know, that. There are all these people who are willing to, you know, chat to you and, you know, exchange thoughts on anything under the sun, whether it is Elijah Wood's uh, incredibly non-aged skin over the years or, you know, which Sanrio character is the best. Yeah, it's great to, you know, just be able to chat to people. So uh, over the course of time, we discussed several things and she said, Poland has some very interesting cosmetics, you know, lots and lots of brands and some very interesting products. Ah, I said, yeah, that sounds interesting. Poland has been on my wish list, uh, bucket list, travel list for a very long time. Some time, heaven knows when the world's, if the world's ever going to return to normal. So, when we were talking about Polish products, she said, I'd like to send you a box of things, and no obligations, just send you a box of things. I said, please don't. I mean, there's shipping problems and, you know, a lot of issues. Pandemic, etc. Everybody's struggling. She said, "No, nothing doing. I, I won't take no for an answer." I said, "Okay, uh, send me the uh, hair thing because we were talking about a hair product specifically." The box turned up. It was massive, a massive, massive, massive box. I unboxed everything because I was so excited, uh, and because she said there was something edible in there. Um, so you know, I, I don't have the box, the, the external box, and I don't want you lot seeing my seeing where I live either. So I put everything in this bag and she also included a birthday card, a very beautiful birthday card. Um, and she's written a very, a very nice handwriting as well. And she's written, Dear Reno, if you're reading this, it means that the parcel arrived safely at your door, unless it got stolen and these words are now being read by a filthy thief. Then shame on you for ruining Reno's birthday. I hope it's not the case though. <laughs> and she's also included in another envelope a list of everything and how to use it. She's painstakingly gone through the ingredients list of everything to see if there's anything to which I could possibly be allergic. Now, most important, she also included a special birthday present. I know I've already unwrapped it, but yeah. Unfortunately, the frame broke in transit. I haven't told her. I will get it reframed. No problem at all. The frame broke in transit. No biggie. This happens at the perils of international shipping. Drawn by herself. I think it is a charcoal sketch, charcoal and pencil, but I can't be able to. And uh, I think acrylic. Acrylic paint, I think. This. Frodo holding the one ring on the banks of the river Anduin as he debates leaving the fellowship and going on to Mordor on his own. Yeah, after Boromir tried to take the ring from him. I think, hang on, she's absolutely nailed it. Yeah, look at those eyes, people. Look at that. I am not an artist myself. I'm completely untalented. Uh, but I can spot good art thanks to my parents dragging me all over the place, you know, looking for antiques and, you know, picture reprints and, you know, making me stare for ages and ages in all those uh, original Monets and Gainsboroughs and Turners and Caravaggios and Raphaels. And yeah, my, so I can identify good art when I see it. And I think. Maria is incredibly, incredibly talented people. And I really think she ought to, I don't know, do exhibitions or something. Uh, 
first she wanted to make. I mean, she's a dentist. She, she's already you know a healthcare worker. But yeah, I think she should do something with it once this pandemic subsides. You know, start painting and you know, put everything in an exhibition or something. I'm sure she will sell a lot. This is going to be reframed and put up in my room, pride of place. Because I, I book Frodo, yeah, book Frodo, not the movie version, is my absolute favourite character in The Lord of the Rings. Knowing fully well that this would absolutely wreck him, knowing that he was saving the world for everybody but himself, he would have no place in this world. Knowing fully well that he would have no future, knowing fully well that, you know, his line would end with him, knowing fully well that he would have to leave the world, he still did it. He still did it. And no other character could have carried or held the ring for that long and come out near normal, the way Frodo did. Yeah, you know, Gollum certainly did not, you know, do very well under the ring's influence. Frodo, amazing character. I know that he had a lot of help, particularly towards the end. I'm not discounting Sam's role at all, but Book Frodo is this absolutely larger than life, amazing character for me. Was my first favorite character when I first read the book, will always be my first character, favorite character, sorry. Um, I think movie Frodo doesn't hold a candle to the depth of book Frodo. I love Elijah Wood, I think he did an amazing job, but I feel that they sort of had him overshadowed by Aragorn and other characters. In the book, Frodo is you know, his own massive light. So yeah, huge fan. Thank you. This, this, when I saw this, I actually teared up. I actually cried because, you know, I'm so touched. Somebody went all the way to paint something for me, to create something for me. Yeah, she's actually signed that. She did this on the 10th of April, 2021. Amazing. Right, so that's out of the way. Now let me show you what else is inside. This is long gone. It's white chocolate. See, she and I have a lot in common. And one of the things is that both of us prefer white chocolate, cocoa butter based white chocolate. Yeah, so she sent this. Now, I haven't had chocolate since January 2021 at all, at all, nothing, working on it. And I was so proud of that. This turned up and I went right in. Mm, really, really did it for me. But I will not be having any more chocolate come May onwards. Yes, yeah, so a birthday month. I'm entitled to chocolate. Oh, you know, when it's your birthday month, you have to have chocolate. So this is white chocolate and caramel. Absolutely lovely. Nothing that could possibly cause allergies. Nothing gave me allergies. And then I've already eaten one. There are two left. I first thought this was some kind of eyeshadow or something, you know, eyeshadow sticks or, uh, I don't know, cardial sticks or something. These are all because it said hairy tail cosmetics. Yeah, cute unicorn there. Um, but these are actually chocolate. Hang on, I'll show you one. Yeah, see that? That's chocolate. Yeah, might as well. Eating on camera. One of the first, see? Yeah, so this is an indie brand, hairy tail cosmetics. Sorry. Created by a Polish YouTuber, a huge Polish YouTuber who previously just owned a hair web shop with a great selection of brands not available anywhere else and then she decided to come out with her own line oh my god that is so delicious i also included toffees that were part of an order i made at hairy tail cosmetics these are very traditional sweets here and she's uh, actually written down the full list of ingredients so these are safe for you to eat they have a cute name here little cows mm, they don't look anything like cows more little unicorns like they've understood because you see this logo here Unicorn with fairy tale cosmetics. And while I'm at it, I am going to go ahead and eat the second one as well. Now there is no more chocolate or toffee or you know any sweet anywhere in this house apart from frozen grapes, which aren't exactly sweet. That means that I can't get through May and so on. You know, here's my excuse. I'm filming this on Sunday, April 25th. And come May, there won't be any more chocolate in my diet after that. You know, if I can go another three months, let's see, yeah. So, yeah, I want to finish up all the sweets in here before me, which is why I'm eating this. So, let's start off with the makeup. She sent me Glam Shop Cosmetics, Polish brand, single eyeshadows in this bubble wrap. What I am going to do, because these are like this, hang on, here, I'm going to get a magnetic palette that is mostly empty. 
This is from Kara Moon's Cosmetics. So are those multi-prongs which I've had, which I ordered last Black Friday, believe it or not. So I'm going to put this, put these in here so that they don't, I don't know, fall out and break or something. Hang on, let me just do that. And this is a multi-chrome eyeshadow. She's actually sent me a multi-chrome eyeshadow from Glam Shop's Cosmetics, Glam Shop Cosmetics, called multi multi the next one is called alexis and is a marbled eyeshadow i'll come close to the camera so you can see that in all its glory so those are the four eyeshadows that she sent me yeah can you see them this one is marbled oh dear the focus on this thing is a bit tricky yeah this one is marbled this one is gasolina this one is multi multi which actually goes from green to that color i've actually swatched it this one is multi multi. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that shift going from green and on. This one is gin, which I feel is also definitely a multi chrome. Look at that. Yeah, you see that shift. Yeah, now this one is green. Hmm? And this beautiful marbled color. I will be doing a separate video on all these eyeshadows. There was an eyeliner in here. Yeah, there. here we are which I will just quickly do a demo of. This is the Precise Brush Eyeliner from Everline in the shade Deep Black. Here's what that's like. Um, I already, you know, did my under eye area and eyeshadow. So this is above a very neutral eyeshadow from Dior that my mother bought me for my birthday. problem here is that I have a sty, a little cyst on my left eyelid, turned off out of nowhere. I can't even, you know, I haven't even been going out or using any eye makeup or anything. So yeah, can you see that? Yeah, that little cyst. So the problem is that it's right where I don't want any, I mean, I, where all I want is smooth skin. So the problem is that applying eyeliner has become an absolute pain right now, which is kind of why, you know, I, I think, yeah, I've got to film videos over the weekend and, I, and then, you know, I go, oh, no, I can't be asked to apply eyeliner after waking up because of this uh, bloody cyst. Now, I probably have to go and see an ophthalmologist and, you know, get some drops or something to, oh, you know, make it go away. Hot water, fermentation or something. Oh, dear. It has, I mean, that's not the eyeliner's fault at all. That comes out nicely, but, and it is a beautiful deep black. But the problem is that, you know, it looks smaller on camera, I know. It is actually quite sharp and, uh, you know, it makes for a very irregular surface and it becomes very difficult to apply. Yeah, so that's the eyeliner. So I feel that she's gone out of her way to select products that she knows I will love. Normally, you know, people give me what they like. Here she's given me what she knows I will love. Because she said, you know, I usually use the sort of felt-tipped, precise brush-tipped eyeliner. And that's perfect. Um, I could easily compare it to the KVD Tattoo Liner, but 10 times better. Completely agree, because the KVD Tattoo Liner, for that price, you know, these dry out very fast. So why would you want to spend a lot of money on that? I hope you like it too. I absolutely do, definitely, very, very much. And then, among the makeup, is this product. Hi, sir. Half Cloud Under Eye Setting Powder. This is my, this is what she's written here in her notes. Absolute favorite setting powder for setting my under eyes. And it's very finely milled and prevents my concealer from creasing throughout the day. Mm, that is very interesting. You know, I need, I've got to go to Poland one day. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Five or six years time, I think. No, based on the pandemic. If the pandemic goes away by 2024, I don't know, let's say 2030 as a target, yeah. <laughs> because that should give us enough time. The next makeup product, unfortunately, I have had to do other, film other videos today, so I'm already wearing a lipstick from another brand that my mum gifted me for my birthday, but I will definitely be swatching this another time. This is from H-E-A-N. Huh. Velo Matte Lip Tint. Yeah, I adore the liquid lipsticks and bronzers. I chose a lipstick for you. I hope the colour will be to your liking, most importantly, the formula. These are great quality for the value. Ah, oh, yeah, matte liquid lipstick is my jam. It doesn't really smell of anything, actually. 
very nice very very nice so and this shade is called it doesn't actually say but let me find that rnb this shade is called rnb i think that would be a wonderful shade for the autumn and winter right so let me just put these on frodo and then move on to the skin cap i uh, know i think I'll have to dig a bit deeply. So let's do Bath and Body. This is my absolute favorite product. That is not the makeup. Outside of makeup, it's probably my favorite product. It looks like a milk bottle. Oh my God. This is the Boom Boom Cream in this form. Huh. It is the Nakomi, N-A-C-O-M-I. Caramel bubble bath that smells just like that. Caramel milkshake. This bubble bath gives me a warm and cozy feeling, so be sure to enjoy it on those especially rainy days. Hmm, I will. I, I also want to use it for very stressy days. It is fully vegan. Vegan, people, mind you. So, uh, yeah, smells amazing, looks cute. This will be loved. Right, I'm, I'm going to get the bath and body out of the way and then move on. Um, I have here Yope, Y O P E, Rose and Incense Scented Body Butter. Hmm, this brand is my absolute favorite when it comes to body care. They have a very unique range of scents. Uh, they have this hair conditioner that is labeled as fresh grass and it actually smells like that. Huh. Rose and Incense is my number one of all the ones that I've tried from them. And I believe me, and believe me, I've tried a lot. I think it's impossible not to like this. Ah, it's sealed. So I will be opening it only another time because I've actually got four different body butters open in my bathroom right now. So we are saving this. And you know, I think rose and incense should be more summer moving to autumn transition period. So yeah, that should be a good time. Now, there was another bath and body product. Yumi Aloe and Watermelon Hand Cream. What cute packaging. Yeah, it reminds you of K-Beauty, doesn't it? Is it K-Beauty? No, it's made in the EU. Huh. 75 mils, very general. Oh, also sealed. I wonder if it smells of watermelon. Yeah, the whole concept and graphic design of this brand imitates Korean and Japanese beauty a little bit to me. Yeah, to me as well. <laughs> I was drawn to the packaging when I first stumbled upon them. I absolutely adore their pure aloe gel and body lotions that smell just divine. Wanted to pick some kind of hand cream for you though and not another body lotion, so I decided to go for this. Ah, huh, we all need a good hand cream. Yeah, hand cream especially uh, timely. I'm sort of racing through them right now right so that's out of the way i think we can do cleansing a skin care next yeah let's start with this beautiful package of recibo cleansing oil cleansing oil oh my god again 100 percent vegan very nice oh there's a cleansing cloth that goes with it as well look at that not one of those fiddly muslin cloths you get with the long cleanser but an actually you know very very nice microfiber cloth right so this is the receiver cleansing oil and there is a generous 150 mils of it um is made it, this cleansing oil is what made the brand shine i think i've heard of receiver somewhere in poland they're very eco-friendly vegan and use natural ingredients i think even their packaging gives off such a vibe i really like a cleanser from them that i'm currently using i have this oil in the past and it worked really well it's a type of oil that doesn't leave that nasty residue on your skin perfect um uh this does not contain any coconut oil thankfully uh it contains linum lusitanium lusitanium seed oil grape seed oil um tocopherol chrome abyssinica seed oil and persia grotta. i have no idea what these things are but none of them is coco's nucifera oil coconut oil which breaks my skin out like nobody's business that was my kind of fear you know that skincare wouldn't suit me but you know this is amazing everything was beautifully sealed everything i can use she's gone out of her way to choose oil free products or products that I, she knows i will use i absolutely love i think she's watched quite a few of my videos for this purpose amazing right the next thing is the sensum water algo pure cleansing gel gel cl second cleanser here she sent me everything i need for a routine i think no oil it is cocoa amidopropyl Cocamidopropyl betaine uh, based. No sulfates either. Mm, nice. The next product is a toner from a brand called Linear. Linear gel toner with 5% glycolic acid. This contains glycolic acid, gluconolactone, sodium hyaluronate, and betaine. Yeah, here's your acid toner. This is just perfect. 
no oil in here, zero oil, none at all, nothing. Linear is a relatively new skincare brand that has quickly become a favorite for many beauty gurus and the general beauty community included. And the whole marketing is focused on acne prone skin. Ta da! And younger people. I haven't tried this toner in particular, I have to admit that it, but it has great reviews, but I had a different one with lactic acid and really liked it. Hmm. If you don't like something I chose, don't hesitate to pass it on to somebody. Hey, I'm going to keep it. I love it. It's oil free. Yeah, does it actually work? I'm sure it will because, you know, this is the kind of formulation, this is the kind of ingredients list that I actually like. Right, so that's the skin care out of the way. There's a lot in here, which is why I'm moving a little fast. Hair care is next. Beautiful gift box. Look at that. Unwen, not our when from Lord of the Rings. She herself has written that. Three hair conditioner set for medium porosity hair. I think I have medium porosity. Um, in moisturizing lilac, uh, emollient iris, and protein magnolia. Oh my god, beautiful floral themed. I, uh, I, I wonder how they smell. Let's try and open that and see. Where do you open this? Yeah, I think it's here. Yeah, so this is what she talked to me about, and this is what I was expecting. Yeah, this one. I was expecting her to send me that, and there comes this huge box and a painted, uh, and a hand painted picture of Frodo and chocolates. And oh my god, so many goodies and multi chrome eyeshadows. Yeah, when I was expecting this, it's sealed. Do I want to open it? Might as well. So good, so pleasant, so floral. So sweet smelly. I love this. I'm sure I'll particularly adore iris because powdery iris fragrances like the Guerlain Insolence are my absolute favorites. Right. The owner really knows everything hair related. And uh, everything she says is the ultimate truth. She basically created a whole hair movement a few years ago that roughly translated is called herring. Hmm. It's a huge thing in Poland and more and more people are being sucked into it. I'm one of those who found out how to properly wash my hair thanks to this movement. I need to Google hairy. Uh, I wonder what the Polish word is. Maybe there are YouTube videos on how to properly wash your hair. I chose this set of conditioner, playing it safe, as the ones dedicated for medium porosity hair work for everybody. And I don't know if you have time. I think it is mostly uh, medium porosity here. Right, the next thing is also from Anwen. Happy Ends Serum for the hair shouldn't accidentally put it on my face. Yeah, that's a very lightweight and runny hair serum. This is a one of a kind, smells very nice. This is a one of a kind hair product, comes in two forms, a solid in a tin can and a liquid, which is lighter. You basically apply this at the ends, yeah? And uh, it makes your hair smooth and prevents frizz. Excellent, I hate frizzy hair, I have frizzy hair. Lastly, there is from Hairy Tail Cosmetics, the same brand as the chocolate people and this is the murky co-wash i remember that you mentioned in one of your videos that you don't use shampoo and only co-wash your hair so i picked up this baby for you oh my god you actually watched all my videos to find out what i like you actually do you know the number of photo frames that people have gifted me for primbo and my birthday or the number of tablecloths or coasters or shite that i couldn't care less about a stranger I'd never even met. I've, I've had a few conversations. That's it. She's actually gone through my videos, found out what kind of hair care I use, gone through the trouble of you sending me a co-wash and not a shampoo at all. I think, you know, all these people were right. And, you know, you can't choose your family, but you can make your own. That's important. Oh my god. So this is that indie brand created by a huge Polish YouTuber who previously opened just a hair web shop. Yeah, the, the one who makes those chocolates. This girl has the most gorgeous hair on planet Earth. I wonder what her name is. I've got to go find out. Almost knee length. Oh my god. Straight, ginger and shining so much that you can see it from the moon probably. <laughs> I will send you a picture if you remind me. I'm going to ask her for a picture tonight and uh, put it on this video. Yeah. I, 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 do I have the permission to use a picture on YouTube? Probably not. Tell you what, I link it. Yeah, I'll put up a link to the picture in the description box below. That I can do. Yeah, I will be really surprised if this product doesn't steal your heart. Co-washing. This is scalp balancing. Perfect. I get done before the time. Uh, yeah, and it's got a cute picture of an octopus in here. Very, very nice. So she has actually sent me four eyeshadows, one lipstick, one eyeliner. Yeah four conditioners, 
a serum, a setting powder, a body butter, a hand cream, and a bubble bath, a cleansing gel, an oil cleanser, and a toner, and a picture of Frodo. And that is in addition to four chocolates, including a Weedle bar of white chocolate and caramel, and a birthday card. So, 80, not counting the birthday card at all, and not counting the chocolates because they've gone here. Yeah, not counting the chocolates or the birthday card, just counting these things alone. 18 things. It's like a whole advent calendar in here. I was speechless when I first saw everything, utterly speechless. And oh my God, everything looks so incredible and all the ingredients list right up my alley. Yeah, no wheat anywhere. No, nothing that, you know, can possibly cause articaria for me. Incredible. I'm so blown away by Maria's kindness, by how, how much thought and effort she's put into this, how she's created something, how she's painted something just for me, how she's gone through so many videos and shopped for me. I really hope she hasn't risked herself, you know, by going out of her way, going out a lot during this pandemic. That is insane. That is insane. Oh my God, Frodo. <laughs> for those who uh, think I'm just making up my love of Frodo here, this is my iPhone SE case. <laughs> uh, here's the thing, I didn't really talk much about Lord of the Rings to her. Um, we were talking about iPhone cases available on YesStyle. This is not from YesStyle. So I told her that a friend of mine personalized this for me from somewhere or the other and sent me this. That's all I said. And then she said, oh, you like Elijah Wood? I love Elijah Wood. All I said. And then this turns out. Insane. But yeah, I'm blown away by these. And I will be doing a post once I have four eye makeup looks ready with those amazing eyeshadows. And, you know, use that lipstick in that video as well. And also I want to do a review of these products once I have given them a go. Uh, and try it in a couple of them. Stay tuned for all of that. Polish Cosmetics, insane. Thank you, Maria, for making this birthday amazing. I was very, very broody. It was the second birthday in a row where I was very, very lonely. I hadn't gone out at all. No eating out, no dinner, nothing. You know, usually there's a dinner thing and all that. No get together, nothing. Two very boring birthdays in a row. So yeah, I was feeling a bit, mm, another year like this. I wonder how many more there'll be. Uh, and then, you know, this package turns up. I'm just completely, you know, overwhelmed by what she's done. Please don't in future, Maria. Honestly, while I think you've been incredibly kind, I feel totally bad, you know. Ew, feeling very bad here, feeling very guilty, feeling very overwhelmed by your kindness here. I have actually cried while unboxing this, particularly after seeing this. Please don't send me anything at all, people. I create content because I love it, because it's a lark, because I enjoy getting to know you, Lord, because I, I, it's, it's a way of unwinding for me. It's a way of relaxing for me. That's the only reason I do this. I don't do this in order to get anything from anybody or, you know, for PR samples or anything at all. You lot know that I actually said no to a lot of PR samples. Some of you know it. <laughs> She's put in a lot, a lot, a lot of money in here as well, because I think, first glance, not absolutely sure, just think, yeah, because I'll delve deeper into it when I'm doing uh, a video on those eyeshadows. I think that the Glam Shop Multichrome eyeshadows are around 12 euros or so. Yeah, four of them, 12 euros, that's, I don't know, she spent a lot of money. Oh my God, my hair's all over the place. Hopefully one of these things will help. So yeah, that is what I received from Maria from Poland for my birthday. Lots and lots of Polish cos cosmetics, Frodo and chocolate. Yeah. Have you tried Polish cosmetics? Do you not think they look very, very, very interesting indeed? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, if you get a chance, you know, maybe explore them. Yeah, I wonder how many of them ship worldwide. I'll find out. Yeah, if I find any links, I'll put them in the description box below. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. And I'll speak to you soon.